All right, so we're back to the only game where you can be so annoying that you can make the person that kidnapped you for ransom kill themselves. It's episode. More psychotic relationships, damn it. As I understand it, in this episode, we must play a young girl who falls in love with the man who's an asshole. But what he doesn't know is that we're a crazy bastard and we're about to ruin his whole career. She existed once before to ruin lives. Say hello to Karen Starbucks. Eater of souls. <laughs> Look, they give me extra space. I'm gonna use it, all right? Let's do this. What would you like to change? Everything, I'm freaking translucent. I don't know what I look like. Nothing's coming up on the screen. You know what we call this? Randomization. Uh, yeah, we'll pick this. I have no idea what Frankenstein creation I just made, but I guess we're about to find out. I hope you all finished your reading assignments. This is my teacher? She looks like someone that would live under a bridge. What'd you get all the rejects from the Burlington Coat Factory? Okay, so the teacher's like, it's time to discuss what you all thought about in chapter 33. This is my character? <laughs> Am I wearing someone's bloody clothing? How did I pick a bunch of random stuff and she's still attractive? I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm wearing the shirt that the Chess burster guy from Aliens was wearing. You thought it was romantic? What was this story about? You thought the extremes to which Bill goes to tame his new wife was romantic. He starved her and deprived her of sleep. You know what we call that? Foreshadowing. Do you really think that's romantic, Raven? Yes, of course. This is the most realistic portrayal of relationships I've ever seen in my life. Ten of ten. Also, how come Raven has to wear a uniform and I'm wearing a bloody gown? I get that I made my character, I just didn't think it would go this far. He only did that because he loved her. You're from Florida, aren't you, Raven? Karen says you're fu- I normally try to reserve judgment in these discussions, but Karen Starbucks, eater of souls, is right. You're fu- Bruh. <laughs> Legit, I don't think that this is our teacher. I think that this is the Terminator. She just mugged our teacher and took her clothes. You just don't understand what true love is. Don't worry, Raven. By the end of this episode, we all will. Someone will be dead, but we all will. Oh, I'm sorry, someone already is dead. In case it wasn't obvious, this is me. As you can probably guess, I'm the hottest person at school and a maniac. <laughs> Now that I get a full picture of Karen Starbucks, they bled all over this shirt. We're still talking about being kidnapped and starved to death, and Raven is like, you just don't understand it because you haven't met the right person yet. I'm not looking for love. I'm too young to meet the right person. The right person isn't going to kidnap me. Actually, knowing this game, I kind of hope he does, so I'm just going to pick this one. That airhead is Raven, says Karen, wearing the gown of the lady that she previously strangled to death. Here's where I live. Did I mention I'm filthy? be rich. Your clothes gave it away. I can picture this girl opening up her closet and it's just thousands of outfits stained with blood. Daddy is a wealthy businessman. Oh my god, my dad is William Defoe! All of my dreams have now come true. I get to wear a slew of bloody clothes and my dad is William Defoe. Oh wait, maybe he's not a businessman. Maybe he's a doctor. I can never remember. The point is he makes a lot of money yelling through the phone every day. My character has everything she could possibly want but love. Don't get me wrong, I understand pacing, but I have a feeling that something's about to happen. Okay, there's a skull rising up outside of my window. So Karen's like, do you ever get the feeling that someone is watching you? There's a problem here. Two people are watching me. First, Skeletor is creeping on me, and his tattoo is also gazing in my direction. I like how Karen's looking this way, and she's like, your Fabio tattoo is destroying my soul. You know what time it is? It's time to get abducted. Is it just me, or is the tattoo different now? Karen Starbucks, eater of souls. You've been kidnapped. I got a question for you. When you kidnapped me, you understand that you took a girl who wears the blood of the innocent on her. We're holding you here until your father gives us $1 million. Joke's on you. My father and I haven't talked in 18 years. I couldn't believe it. I had been kidnapped. And the room I was being held in was fancier than my real bedroom. What the hell is this? Is there like bottles of wine in here? I only had one last question on my mind. Who is your boss? Would you like a glass of wine? Seriously, can I get some clean clothes? Yeah, listen, do you have any other clothes with blood stains on them? These are kind of drying out. I like them to be wet. I mean, I don't know, since you guys are buying, let's go for the wine. Would you like a glass of wine? A glass of what? It's wine. It'd be rude if I didn't offer, especially since it's in my hostage cell. You've been kidnapped. Snapped. You're supposed to be shaking in your boots. My boots are at home. Listen up, Nine Inch Nails guy. I wear two things, blood and shame. I think I can take over from here. What the hell? It's like young Hugh Jackman. And at that moment, my whole world changed. The man in front of me was young Hugh Jackman. 
I felt an instant attraction to him. I'm going to kill this man, aren't I? Sir, let me just mention that your blood would look great on my gown. You can dump her outside of a library or something. Wait, what? Why a library? You haven't gone to the library in years. You didn't even tell me your name. And thus, the stalker becomes the stock E. This is my mother. Oh, Karen Starbucks, eater of souls. Mom, I told you not to call me by my full name. I like how William Defoe was still yelling into the cell phone. I'll never let anyone kidnap you again. I hired three bodyguards to be with you at all times. This girl takes these things really well. Well, I guess that's what I would say. But again, she's wearing people's blood as accessories. My kidnapper was hot. My kidnapper gave me clothes. My kidnapper provided wine. All I'm saying is you don't have to worry about me. I've killed 30 people already. Listen, mom, every day at school, five people go missing and they're not ditching. I'm a rebellious teen and I'll do what I want anyway. Well, she's right about that. My dad just gives up. Where were you last night? The dry cleaners. In case you haven't noticed, all of my bloody clothes are in the wash. I was kidnapped. No, I'm serious. I was, I was kidnapped. Think about it, Raven. Have you ever seen me not wearing blood cologne? He was the sexiest man I ever saw. Really? What's his name? Do you have a picture? I was kidnapped, Raven. How the hell would I have gotten a picture of him? I didn't expect this, but Karen's actually asking some real questions here. To be fair though, I don't know if her kidnapper searched her because they probably didn't want to get blood on their hands. Raven's like, did you get his name, his phone number? Did you get anything? <laughs> Turned on. <laughs> Well, we need to find him then. Well, I already have experience getting kidnapped, I guess. I agree, but how? I'm glad you asked. Getting bad boys to fall in love is my specialty. He's a gang leader, not a bad boy. They're basically the same thing. Tarantino <laughs> eye narrowing. <laughs> so do we know what gang leaders like? Cigarettes, wine, weapons. I like how perfect this matchup is. I can go up to this guy and be like, listen, you like killing people. I like killing people. It's win-win. We were made for each other. Weapons, morbid, but correct. All you need to do now is find some weapons and start selling them. Great, I'm gonna turn into the NPC merchant in every RPG. Everything's for sale, my friend. Now let's find a hot outfit that will get his attention. Don't I just look like wifey material? This is what I'm gonna be selling weapons in? What the hell is this? Can someone please tell me what gun shop you go to where the person selling guns is wearing this? Besides in an episode episode, there's only one thing left to decide, the location. You can't just sell weapons any Anywhere, you know. Actually, you can't sell them in most places. Raven, I've got a hundred felonies laying inside of my closet. Selling weapons is the least of my problems. Either the beach, a town fair, a dangerous alleyway. I feel like this is supposed to be the ridiculous answer, but these are the ridiculous answers. A town fair? The dangerous alleyway is too cliche. We're going to the goddamn fair. The town fair seems like a pretty good place to bet on. Gang leaders and kidnappers love shit like that. I like how Raven's like, that's a great idea. It's like a gold mine to them. Is it? Boss, I think those teenagers are selling weapons. I like how this dude is just full wearing his Skeletor outfit right in public at the fair in broad daylight. I think one of them is the one we kidnapped yesterday. Selling weapons, you say? This is amazing. Our weapon stall is right next to the kissing booth. <laughs> Every young couple goes to the local fair and leaves with a lifetime of memories and a Glock. Are either of them hot? The one we kidnapped is. Then kidnap her again. It worked! And take the weapons too! <laughs> I like a raven just gets left out in the dust. Why do our weapons look like pastries? Actually, this is a fantastic idea. Maybe we're selling grenades that look like fresh fruit. One of his minions is coming this way. Finally, I get to be kidnapped one more time. Remember me? Yes. Does your boss want me to marry him? <laughs> See, Karen Starbucks has great power because rather than follow a traditional line in a relationship, she does the wormhole bending of space and time so that the beginning and the end are in the same spot. Uh, well, he wanted me to kidnap you again. I guess it might lead to romance one day though. Perfect. That was easy. Of course, she still didn't ask for the gang leader's name. Raven, look, we had a plan. We carried it out. What more do you want? Oh, and make sure you sell the rest of the weapons. I need to pay my dad back. God, it's cliche, but I have to pick it. The best thing is going to be wearing this outfit, selling weapons in some random alleyway. <laughs> oh God, it's everything I hoped for. Talk about timing. There's a freaking gang war going down. That's him. Well, go get him, Karen Starbucks, eater of souls. Just run right into the middle of what is clearly a gunfight and tell him how you feel. And she does it. She's like, hey, it's me. 
Oh, you guys have the same tattoos. You could be bros. Nobody shoot. I have some weapons for sale. Get out of the way, cutie. You think I'm cute? Oh my god, I just got shot a hundred times in the back of the head. Oh, my finger must have slipped. Oh my god. She still didn't get his name. Son of a bitch. Oh, I'm actually dead. Okay, let's try wine. Maybe I won't get shot this way. I guess we had better go to a bar then. Why would we do that? Because if you're surrounded by bottles, he'll find you. I don't really understand where you're taking that, Raven, but you know what? Sure. Trust me on this one. Now let's find a hot outfit. You don't mind if I just wear my bloody clothes, do you? What the fuck? I'm disturbed. Is that really what you want to wear? Of course it is. So we're at the tavern and legit everyone's here trying to kill one another again. Why does this happen no matter where I go? What am I supposed to do now? Do not say go and run in the middle of the gunfire. I guess we should leave unless you want to get in the middle of that. Do you think they're going to shoot him? They're probably going to try. I guess I should leave and give up on love. Run into the middle of the tavern to try and stop them or run straight to the gang leader to protect him. I'm not gonna lie, this would probably get me not dead, but that means there's no way in hell I can pick it. I don't know, it's 50-50. Hey, let's go after the gang leader. Don't shoot. All right, never mind. Go ahead and shoot a sh ton. Well, I've died to wine and weapons. We might as well go with cigarettes this time. So you just need to start selling cigarettes on the side of the road to get him to notice you. Why do I feel like I'm going to get shot? I guarantee he'll be eating out of your hand in no time, or I'll be eating the pavement. I guess it's worth a shot. Bad choice of words. So here we are at the bus stop selling cigarettes in my homeless outfit. Who wants to buy some cigarettes? You're doing it wrong. Raven, have you seen this entire episode? I've been doing everything wrong. You need to advertise them. She, wait, you want me to smoke? How else are you gonna sell your product? I don't know, by looking like I eat out of a dumpster. What do you want from me? What do I do now? Start smoking, stick to yelling, take off your clothes and streak. There's only one right answer here. She's like, oh, gang leader, hello. I'm making way. What is this? Hey, you son of a bitch. Got any to spare? I don't, but the girl behind me is selling them. Oh, and she's naked. What's wrong? She's talking to the rival gang leader I was supposed to assassinate tonight. I hope that was the right gang leader. Did I just walk away with some other guy? Okay, this time we're gonna try selling weapons at the beach. Jesus Christ, it's not just the beach, it's like friggin' Hawaii. Maybe we should have chosen your outfit after you decided you wanted to go to the beach. You look way too fancy to be here. I'm trying to focus, Raven. Try selling your goodies. That's the whole point of coming here. Everyone at the beach loves coming for two reasons, a suntan and Glocks. Like how there's just a bunch of random girls over here and this girl's like oh thank god someone was selling weapons i thought i'd never find them here at the beach i was looking to purchase a handgun today is this real it's the guy <laughs> someone's selling weapons here you see that's my territory did you just did you just like rko that girl what the hell this is my beach Oh, it's him. He's gonna kill us, isn't he? I'm the only one who sells any weapons here. I didn't know this beach was such a hot territory for weapon sales. Since I'm a gang leader, I can't let this go without consequences. Wait, define consequences. You know, Raven was in on this too. Shoot her. I'm gonna have to kidnap the hot one. Let me guess, the hot one is gonna be Raven. <laughs> me? Obviously. Oh, I can't believe it. I did it. She still didn't ask for his name. Did I win? What happens now? Well, it took me a bunch of tries and a lot of deaths, but we finally got our love story complete. Now I can hound him until the day he dies. <laughs> hey folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of episode. Till next time, stay foxy and much love.